All right, well now we're getting into, in my opinion, the fun part of algebra. Up until now, you've been doing all these vocabulary words and these rules and when to do certain things. Well, now we actually get to start manipulating the expressions. So today, we're studying simplifying algebraic expressions. And as always, take notes. All right, I know, you can do it. First of all, to add or subtract algebraic expressions, you must have like terms. Must have like terms when you are adding and subtracting. Any two terms can be added or subtracted as long as they contain the same variables and the same exponents. Same means identical. Has to be the same. Terms that have different variables or exponents must be kept separated. So in this expression, we have 2z plus 4z plus 3z. Well, since they all have a z and one and just a z, we can add those coefficients together. So 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 3 more is 9. So as if I was doing z, 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 z. And all of these z's together are 9 z's. This one is 5r minus 2r. Well, I can do this, again, because I have the same, x, the same um, variable and the same power. They're both powers of 1. So 5r minus 2r, r, 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 take away two of them, scratch, scratch, leaves me with three r's. So again, same variable, same power. Okay, so the following are like terms because each consists of a single variable x and a numeric coefficient. So I have 2x, 45x, x, 0x, negative 26x, negative x. They're all like terms because they all are the power, are variable of x, power of 1. These are like terms because they're all constants. So up until this year, you haven't dealt with variables. They've, they've all been constants. That's why you've been able to add and subtract them because they have no variable and they have no exponent on the variable. So 15, negative 2, 27, basically any number you pick without any letters, you're good to go there. Each of these are like terms because they're all y squared with the coefficient. So we have 3y squared, y squared, negative y squared, 26y squared. So again, they all have y squared. That's the key, y squared. And because they all have y squared, they are like terms. So now, what does it look like if they're not like terms? This. These are some examples of um, unlike terms. You do not have to copy this slide down. Just look at it for your information, okay? These are not like terms for different reasons. 17x and 17z are not like terms because this one has an x, this one has a z. They are not the same variable. So they are not like terms. I cannot add them or subtract them. This next one, we have 15y, 19y squared, 31y to the fifth power. They're all y's, but they all have different exponential powers. This one has a power of 1, power of 2, power of 5. Since they're not all the same, we cannot add or subtract them. They have to have the same power. And lastly, these are not like terms. We have 19x, 14xy. Why can't we? Well, because this one only has x, this one has xy. They don't have the same variables. If this one were 19xy and this one was 14xy, then we're good to go. We could add or subtract them, but they don't, so we can't. So again, you don't have to write that one. Just, just listen and make sure you've taken in what it looks like to not be like, very, like, uh, like terms. Okay, so we've talked about adding and subtracting like terms. Well, now our uh, variable um, expressions, I'm sorry. Now we're getting into multiplying or dividing. 
Multiplying and dividing in algebraic expressions or equations, you do not have to have like terms. Okay? So, if an, if an example would be 5 times 2z. Two two you multiply the coefficients. So, we have 5 times 2, and that's 10, and you bring over the z. Simple enough. 12 times 3a, 36a, because 12 times 3 is 36, bring over the a. Nice and easy. Nothing special to remember there. All right, so as always, follow the order. Of, so step three in solving simpl um, simplifying expressions is following the order of operations, using math properties to work your way through the order of operations. So for our problem, I want you to record four times the quantity of x plus two plus five times the quantity of x plus three. So our first step is to distribute anytime we can. So first step is distribute. I can distribute that 4 to the x and 4 to the 2, which is 4x and 8. I can also distribute the 5x, 5 to the x and 5 to the 3, which is where the 5x and the 15 come from. Well, my next, my property, of, my commutative property of addition tells me I can rearrange the problem with addition and, and there's, I'm still going to get the same answer. So I'm going to rearrange the problem so that I have my x's together and I have my constants together. Then I'm going to combine my like terms. So I have x's that are the same, and there are nine of those, 9x. And my constants are the same, 8 and 15, and that's a value of 23. Finally, my 4 times the quantity of x plus 2 plus 5 times the quantity of x plus 3 equals 9x plus 23. At this point, you're done until I tell you the value of x. Then you can keep working some more. But right now, done. Let's do another one. So this time we have the problem three times the quantity of x plus y plus seven times the quantity of two x and three y. Okay, so first thing we're gonna, we're gonna distribute. We're gonna distribute the three to the x and three to the y, and that's gonna give us three x plus 3y. Well, it tells me to link it together by adding. So then I distribute my, three, my 7 to my 2x and my 7 to my 3y. Well, 7 times 2 is 14. Bring my x with it. They're partners. And then 7 times 3 is 21. Bring the y with it. So next I'm going to use the commutative property of addition again because they're all addition problems. And I'm going to put my x's together, my y's together, my constants together. Basically, I'm just partner, partnering them up. So 3x and 14x. And you're bringing this sign, whatever sign is in front of it is what you're bringing with it. Plus 3y and 21y. So now I've got them kind of, you know, grouped up. Now I can combine my like terms. I have 3x and 14x, and that's going to be 17x. And then my y's, I have 3y plus 21y, and that is 24y. And then, since there's nothing else in common, we're done. 17x plus 24y is the same value as this expression up here. All right, so I've got some for you to try now. Uh, if you want to pause work it out yourself, then come back. I'll have the answer for you. Um, I'd recommend doing that so you can get some practice in. I'm going to go ahead and solve. So we have t plus 5. There's nothing to distribute with that, so I'm just going to bring it out of the parentheses. My 4 does need distributing. I'm going to rewrite it so that my variables are together. my constants are together. And again, this sums the subtraction. So I'm just going to bring that whole thing down. And then t plus 4t is 5t. And then 5 minus 4 is 1. And then you're done. So for this one, we're getting a little bit trickier. We're going to distribute first. Okay? So distribute first. So I'm going to rewrite my expression. 
and then I'm going to distribute. 3 times x is 3x. And then if you didn't remember, when we're multiplying a positive number times a negative number, so a positive, um, sorry, a positive times a positive equals a positive, a negative times a negative equals a positive, and then a negative times a positive equals positive. 